Hey everyone, Zephyr here with another Steam War Vapor game. Today we've got Camera Obscura from Greenlight. This demo was actually just released this past week. Finally got it out and got it going, because I was looking forward to trying it out. It's interesting looking at least. So we'll test it out and see how well it works compared to how well it looks like it should work. Oh, alright. I remember maps like these. Sure. So the whole concept here is, well, you essentially drag camera after images into your path with some button or other. Ah, that one. And it follows you for a second. And you place it and use it to platform the hell out of the, out of the stage. And there's apparently a storyline in here somewhere. Hidden. Wait, that was two of 30? Where the hell was the other one? Huh. Huh. <laughs> that was, seemed like a, you know, double jump up higher. Alright, well, we'll move it along and... Nothing? Alright, in we go. <laughs> we'll deal with it when we get to it. I don't always, I, don't, I, I never really expect to find all the collectibles when I do these previews. Alright. I like the music though, it's very subdued, very... It sets the theme, the feel. Huh. And this is how you get through this game. Was there really nothing up here? Alright, you can't kneel or anything. Oh, you can use that button too. Alright. Huh, alright. Whoop! I thought that was a platform. My mistake. Not a whole lot to it yet. The doors are the goal. You use the after image to platform one from one area to the next, and you collect storyline scraps. And yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know if there's any sort of enemies in here, or if it's just entirely platforming. I suppose we'll see. The camera after image also doesn't. Okay. That's just telling me what I'm doing. Doesn't follow you quite as quickly as you're actually moving. So you have to be careful not to run off the edge of it. But for the most part, it works really well. And yeah, you can only do one after image at a time, not two. In all directions. Yeah, that's well and good, but <laughs> it doesn't go high enough. You also have to kind of get used to timing whoop, so that it stops at just where you want it to. Not that I can apparently get on top of that anyway. Whoop! That was not a platform. So that's how you can tell if stuff's in the foreground or the background apparently. It shadows differently. The stuff that's in the background is just shadowed. The foreground cuts like, it looks like it's cut out like the light hits there. Which works! Whoa! Nope, failed that one. And then you go back to the area that you came in. Ah. <laughs> and you can slow yourself down a lot. I can definitely see this being like a time, a score-based time run game. Whoops! Oh, for God's sakes. Let's see if I can actually get through this stage, though, before we start worrying about stuff like that. That didn't work so well. Alright, and here we go. And next. Oh, that works a lot better. Let it go out ahead of you. Oh no! Damnation. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
because it does go out pretty far ahead of you. Does it go away by itself? Yes, it does. Takes a little while, but it does. Can't go up there. All right, in the door. See if anything else changes. We're still going through the introductory stages, I'm sure, so we may yet get, it, get some new mechanics introduced. Oh, I can look around. Alrighty then. You gotta be kidding me. Grr. Alright. Oh, come on. I can't make that jump. How do I get up there then? That wasn't quite what I was trying to do. Close, though. If I can get it to work, you'll see what I'm trying to do here in a second. Go away, you're in my way. There we go. And still failed. Nope. Hmm, alright, this is not working out the way I'd hoped. Oh, almost! Come on! Nope. There we go. Haha! -ha. Sorry that took forever! <laughs> ha But it is interesting to note that, you know, you jump up, and the... Whoops. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And the... Oop. Get really get used to the timing. The platforms that you picture snap come down with you. It's a really useful mechanic. I mean, it works well. You just... It takes a lot of practice. All right. We'll, go, we'll run one more stage. See what else we can do we can find. Oh, hey, good. That gets us into the next area. Which might well... Be something different. Maybe? Ooh, lots of big drops, we got that. A lot of text, I think they're telling you about this character. But if you, by all means, if you want to read it, slow it down and check it out when you got time. Ooh. Otherwise, go ahead and grab the demo for yourself and try it out and see exactly what they're saying there. Tight quarters, but actually makes the platforming a little easier. Oh, come on. Alright. <laughs> I, I want it to go away, which is why I'm snapping new pictures, but it takes a while. No! Damn, I almost had it. keep bumping my head or just getting blocked all right try from the other direction no nope. I can't make that can I, I cannot see now the problem I'm having is that if I get it to where I can jump on the second step, the, the higher one bumps me in the head. There we go. Haha! -ha. 
it's about as easy to screw up and, ex and place the camera stuff in the wrong place as it is to put it in the right place. Oh, and that was the end. Now it's actually scoring me. Number of flashes and the amount of time it took. And that's where the, the competition comes in and the getting as good as you can, best score you can. But that is Camera Obscura on Greenlight. Check it out for yourself if you enjoyed it. It's, it's a mechanic with a lot of potential. I just hope they do a little more with it. Um, it's a very calm, calm paced game, which maybe was the intention and maybe might be a good thing, but I'd be curious to see if there's any, well, any more active elements that come into play later. But then again, since it's like, since it's time based and score and all that kind of stuff, the way it works now isn't necessarily bad. Anyway, check it out for yourself. Vote them up if you